Hey everyone, this is Jules from Hatchet, and you're watching GearGods.net. Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Jules Ramos here from the thrash metal band Hatchet, and I'm going to give you a live rig rundown of uh, some of the instruments, effects, amps, and everything like that that I use when I'm playing on stage and in the studio with Hatchet. Some of the stuff we're actually using right now to record the new Hatchet album. So I'm going to go ahead and start you from guitar to pedals to amp and cabinet. We're going to go in order of the, uh, the signal chain. Uh, to start you off with, we have uh, my main axe, my only axe at this time, because I tend to like the more expensive uh, guitars, and as a, as, a, as a poor musician, can't afford too much at this time. But uh, what I have here is a Jackson RR1 with EMG8185 pickups. Uh, it's a 1986 vintage that I bought on eBay some years ago. Had to have the Floyd Rose tremolo on it, of course. We're doing some vibe, dive bombs in the leads. Um, volume tone and pickup selector, of course, the signature shark fin inlays on the Jackson, and of course on the headstock you have the Made in USA stamping there. I tend to uh, string my Floyd Rose and strings in the reverse order, which is why you can see the strings and the color ball at the ends here. Uh, most people cut them off and string them through the opposite way. I do the reverse as a little personal flair. So there you go. That's been, uh, that's been with me and Hatchet and on the road for about the last seven years. Love it. Going over to the pedal board here, it's a pedal pad 2 with onboard power supply. Have it custom made here uh, with, with a little uh, ego booster and cover for the pedals here. Um, something my dad actually made on there with three little support posts, which actually served a lot of purpose playing some punk venues and stuff, and some people would be starting pits and falling directly on my feet and on my pedals. Uh, got a Hush pedal there, Rocktron Hush for noise reduction. Uh, any guitarist is going to want to have that when playing at loud volumes with heavy distortion. Moving backwards into the signal chain, sorry about that, I started in the wrong order. We have a Boss Parametric EQ, which they no longer make, but there's some great customizable EQ um, tones you can dial in there and really, really perfect your sound. Um, it's a great pedal to have. I always boost the mids. Definitely a fan of that for uh, for slicing tone, especially with metal. Uh, Morley Bad Horsey 2 Wah Pedal. I think it's a Steve Vai signature. What's great about that pedal is you step on it and it's on. You step off it and it is off. You don't have to step on a switch to activate it. Uh, PV2 button foot switch, which you'll see connects to the amp I use in a little bit. Digitech Digital Lay Pedal for the leads, adding a little bit of, uh, of atmosphere on them. That's about the only effect I use. And then over to the Sennheiser wireless receiver I have for my wireless, basically fuck cables. If you don't have to use them, don't use them, especially when you're playing professionally and live on stage. You want as much flexibility. So there's the overview. The pedal cover folds down and I can actually step on top of it and use it as a little ego booster, which I definitely do, and a little non-skid pad I have installed there. It folds up into a nice carry case, We've got the hatchet stenciling on there, uh, that way I know whose pedal pad that is, not just anyone's, it's mine, so that's my pedal board. Moving on to the next part of the chain is my actual amplifier PV5150 signature head from the 90s. Um, a lot of people use this amp for great reason, great slicing, articulate tone for metal. Uh, not a lot of other amps I'd use. Matching cabinet below with an extra PV old school decal. I took off the old, the original and put on that one. Looks a little more metal with the crazy PV looking logo from the 80s. And I've also uh, customized the cabinet itself with the speakers. I have two Eminence Governor speakers and two Celestian Vintage 30s in an X pattern. So two diagonal of each type. Both are actually a very similar voicing, um, and I find that it has a really, really custom good sound that I have not uh, encountered uh, before, and I love the way that sounds. Well, that about does it, everyone. That's pretty much my complete rig run through, everything that I use live and in studio. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thanks so much for checking it out, and make sure you stay tuned to the Hatchet Facebook page for all things Hatchet related, including new album, tour dates coming up, and everything uh, of that nature. <laughs>